Okay, in the last training cast, we looked at making a chess piece uh, by using the Follow Me tool. That created a really round, standard-looking chess piece with a circle at the top and things that you might be used to seeing. The only disadvantage of doing that with SketchUp is that it's very difficult to, to modify that and add straight lines to it, um, especially when you want to go ahead and 3D print it. What I want to do this time is show you another approach that's going to be a little bit easier uh, for, for uh, modifying in respect to 3D printing because there are a few constraints that we'll learn about um, what designing our models when it comes to making sure that they'll work with a 3D printer. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the Tools menu and actually I meant the View menu and go to Toolbars and make sure that you have the large tool set visible. This over here is the large tool set. You can, you can move it over onto the side here for a better view. Now, we're going to start off with this triangle tool. What the triangle tool is, is it's actually a polygon tool, and it'll let you draw um, multi-sided, any s number of sides um, on a figure. So just like, um, just like with um, the other area where you do the measurements, so right down here I have, I can type in the number of sides when I select my polygon tool. I could do three sides, uh, four sides, but we already have a rectangle tool, uh, five sides, and I'm just typing in. I don't have to put the cursor into that box or into this box or anything. Um, let's start off with uh, six sides. All right, and then from the middle, we'll draw a hexagon with a radius um, let's do the same thing as last time. We did a radius of uh, 140 millimeters. All right. So now we have the 140 millimeters there. I'm just going to move this back up here. Okay. And we can zoom in and take a look at it. Now, we can use this as a base to get started. Let's go ahead and use the, the push-pull tool. And we can uh, push this up to be about 20 millimeters. Now, this can be a little pedestal that we'll use to uh, build the rest of the piece off of. So what I want to show you is this neat little tool called Offset. Um, it's these two black uh, arches with an arrow in between it and when we go to this offset tool um, and hover along any edge it'll allow us to create a line parallel to that edge so here we can do an offset let's do an offset of about um, uh, 15 millimeters and now we can go ahead and push pull and we have a nice little base at the edge to um, give our piece some structure. So let's go ahead and push pull the inside up. We'll go about 300 millimeters. If you want to, you could, um, okay, we'll go 300 millimeters up. And now we've got um, a little bit of uh, the beginnings of the piece here. Um, so what I want to show you you can do is you can select this top edge here and again go over to the scale tool and we'll scale this edge but this time hold down the control key. And you'll notice that when you hold down the control key it uh, scales it about the center of, the, um, of your shape. So now we've got it scaled down right right in the center there. Uh, and we can go ahead to the push-pull tool again. And we can uh, push-pull top up here. And I did that 30 millimeters. And we can uh, pull each face out along the edge. 20 millimeters. Alright, so we'll go over here to 20 millimeters. And we'll 
do that for each one. Around here. Then we can go ahead and uh, connect them all. So take a line and we can connect these endpoints in here. And do the bottom as well. So I went ahead and paused it while I went and did finish up. Now I'm going to show you this tool right here. All right, it's called the Section Pane Tool. And what this will allow us to do is look inside of our model. And you'll see something interesting when we do that. Okay, so I just hovered this over my model and I clicked. And now it kind of cuts away the top and we can see the inside. Don't worry, everything is still there. Um, if you want to, you can go over to the Move tool and uh, move this up and down and look at it from various heights. What we'll notice here is that on the inside of our model, we've got these planes. And these, all these shapes on the inside of our model, um, they're going to be bad for 3D printing. So we're going to want to go ahead and uh, do the Selection tool and delete delete these. Alright, so um, go ahead and do all of these and I'll pause it again so that you uh, don't have to wait while I do all of them. So I've gone ahead and done all of them there. Now I'll go ahead and uh, pull the move tool back up here. There's a few left on top so we want to just uh, delete, delete those from the top. Alrighty, now we're kind of got a nice pedestal here. Um, we can go ahead and do the offset tool again. And um, before we do that, we're going to probably want to get rid of this section pane. So let's go ahead and select this section pane and get rid of it. Was a little tricky just to click right on the selection pane. Um, but I was able to do it and get rid of it. Now, let's go to the offset tool and let's offset this about uh, 15 millimeters and then do the push pull tool. Uh, we'll do this up. Um, we'll go again uh, 15 millimeters. Now, I'm going to do something here. I'm just going to show you the technique. You may or may not like this, but let's go to the arc tool and um, click one point on the top, then find the midpoint down, and let's make a little arc here. Then let's go ahead and take the line tool and take the line tool straight down and you're going to know it's straight down when you are on the midpoint and then from the midpoint over to here now we have a little um, little arc right here and what I want to do is I want to um, select well this whole path right here so I could hold down the shift key and select the path along the top of the piece and if I click on the wrong thing I can just click on it again and it'll go away So, then I want to do the follow me tool over here, click follow me, 
All right. Then we have a nice um, curve along the top as it as it fills that out. Um, now we can go ahead. We can do a small offset of let's do eight millimeters, and we can then push pull. So let's do. Um, I'm going to stick with our 8 millimeters and then we'll push pull up. Let's go up uh, 50 millimeters and then we've got this right here. Um, you can go ahead and we could do an offset here and go in 15 millimeters and then push pull this down maybe 15 millimeters then uh, we can use the tape measure to find the midpoints here midpoint here and um, let's see, we've got 15 millimeters across there. We'll use the line pool tool. Let's use the line tool instead. Just go across from midpoint over the midpoint over here. And then the tape measure tool. Um, don't click on the midpoint. Click in, in between the edge here, and let's go over uh, 10 millimeters there, and we'll go over 10 millimeters here. We'll use the line tool and draw lines across these guidelines. Let's select our initial line in the middle. We can delete. Now we'll do push pull, and we can go down. Um, 10 millimeters and you can see here that we're starting to build up um, perhaps the top of a rook something like that so there is um, another technique you could use for your pieces